dogs, deep dish pizza, and of course, Italian beef. They are all Chicago classics. Sometimes it's not enough just to eat them. And that's why a special exhibit is teaching people about them. Tim is going to be teaching us. Tim, what have you learned so far? Well, let me start off with something serious. I, I'm in my, first of all, I'm in my hometown, the birth town, Elmhurst, uh, and I'm going to say something that at the very least will alienate me from many people. The very worst could get me fired. <laughs> I put ketchup <laughs> on my hot dogs, okay? There, it's out there. I said it. Dave Oberg joins us. Dave is the executive director of the Elmhurst History Museum, and he's in charge of this new exhibit, Eat Your Heart Out, Iconic Chicagoland Foods. So set out once and for all, a Chicagoland-style hot dog, ketchup or no ketchup? If it's a Chicago dog, no ketchup. Oh. Um, but you're talking to a guy who's not a big ketchup fan to begin with. Okay. But uh, um, you've got your iconic ingredients, which you can see up here. But uh, although it's interesting, we've got a food fight ballot going on, and we ask the public that question, do you put a ketchup on a Chicago dog? And surprisingly, 48% are very forgiving of that. So. Okay. So hot dogs are one of the foods represented here. You've got, what, three others. Why did you pick these foods in particular? So we've got about an 1,100 square foot gallery, and we realized to get our arms around the history of Chicagoland food, we needed to focus on a couple of, of key foods associated with Chicago. And really, we went with the iconic three. The Chicago dog, if you close your eyes and you think of Chicago, it's the first thing that pops into your head. Uh, Italian beef, which is very much a Chicago thing, and you don't find very far outside of Chicagoland. And then the deep dish pizza uh, immediately comes to mind as well. Uh, and then we thought we better have dessert, so rainbow cone is in here too, right. just for fun. My wife says uh, the, the punctuation point at the end of a sentence for me is like dessert. So you have to have something oh, at the end of your absolutely. meal, right? So we'll be back with Dave uh, in the next hour. We're going to talk more about the Jardinara wall. And didn't even know there was such a thing. There's a hundred different varieties. More coming up from Elmhurst History Museum on Good Day Chicago. Very fun. He's getting us hungry, right? We're all looking at uh -huh. all this delicious food. Okay, Tim, we'll talk to you in just a bit. It is seven.